Right He's now. fucking insane. <laughs> I swear to God, you can feel it under my pants. I swear to God. Whoa, what? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Right now, I have a right now. <laughs> I swear to God, you can feel it under my What? He has a what? Okay, uh. <laughs> I'm on to him. Um, so what I in the f? You got sold in this trade? I actually care about this shit. What the f? Is it, what the this has to be a script. <laughs> this has to be scripted. There's no way this is real. Fuck what they talking about, I ain't worried. Fousey Tube destroys career, then gets banned. Yeah, this is Jamar. I think we're gonna watch this one. So Fousey Tube is someone who really needs no introduction, but now he is a YouTube OG who is- What the fuck? Was that him? This is not him. <laughs> That's not him. Alright, but hold on. Fousey? Bro, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I forgot that Fousey Tube even existed, bro, to be honest. Bro, the last time I seen him, he was doing like the fake pranks and shit like that. I forgot about him, to be honest. Then I just seen him like popping up on my recommendations and shit like that. I heard he's been doing some weird shit, so we're definitely gonna see what's going on with him. Fousey Tube is someone who really needs no introduction, but now he is a YouTube OG who has spent the last decade or so him? building himself up just to tear himself down over and over and over again. To be honest, there's really no one comparable to him on the internet. And to stay relevant after destroying his life oh, time and on. time again no is jumper? actually really impressive. The rebuilding of himself usually consists of getting back oh, into shape, maybe some there. religion thrown into the mix, a lot of motivational talk, and then come the delusions of grandeur. It's like just as he's doing well, he becomes like a sports car with his foot jammed on the acceleration Damn. with no brakes, and eventually Eventually crashes right in front of the public eye. At this point, mm. we have seen prankster Fousey, wannabe Drake Fousey, motivational <laughs> speaker Fousey, house hunter Ball Fousey, Drake. boxing Fousey, where he was horrible, and now in the latest arc, we have live streamer Fousey. For years, he had dabbled in live streaming, but this time he really took things he to the next streaming. level, streaming his entire life for over a month straight. Obviously, for someone what? like him, with the mental illness he has displayed in the past, this was a horrible idea. <laughs> and despite the <laughs> wait, oh my god, with the mental illness he has displayed in the past, <laughs> bro, the whole reason I wanted to to look at some foozy shit was because I went on Instagram. And I seen like a, a meme about him <laughs> doing this shit, bro. I swear, bro, when I seen it, it was the funniest shit I ever seen in my fucking life, bro. This was a horrible idea. And despite the fact that it was going well, and he had a couple of viral moments and was making some good money, it's now once again time in the yeah, cycle over. for the crash portion. And today wait, wait, we're wait, wait, wait. some good money. It's now. Just gonna give me a save for everyone as a part of that. We require all users to anything uh, based on review of your. Activity or did he get? Oh, yeah, he did get banned. Oh, there's a community guideline strike. Now, once again, Damn, time in tough. the cycle for the crash portion. And today, we're going to look at the craziness that was the last 24 hours on his stream. And I don't know if he's just into public humiliation or what. But some of the oh, things damn, that the get the most his in his stream it's is crazy. when people donate to him. They can write a text message, and he has some sort of speaker with him Shout that will read this message out loud. Count it up. Count it up. Count it up. Count it. Text from mom. I've seen the letter from the clinic you have AIDS and have not told us. This is wrong. Yusuf. What the fuck? It was little kids last week, now an STD. Yo. So this is what he was based on. No. Who? Yo. He had that on a Bluetooth? AIDS and have not told us. This is wrong. But, bro, put in an AirPod, bro. Like, yo. Why did he just have that playing out loud? Um, Yusuf, it was little kids last week, now an STD. No, bro. So this is what he was basically doing over and over again, was going out in public and acting like a bit of a menace. I mean, we know he loves Why attention. We know this that? guy basically lives for views and impressions. So it's not surprising to me that he would lose his mind trying to get them. <laughs> and this is where things get really crazy I'm as sorry, Brucey bro. took a trip to the airport. I'm such a dickhead. I'm not. What? I'm not. I'm a great person. I can tell. <laughs> How are you? He just hey, sat down. That's so I'm random. So fucking. It's a cult, basically. I'm not kidding you. You're in a cult? Yeah. You're sober? Yeah, 
Okay, cool. <laughs> I have a what Discord, the fuck is going right? on with like eight thousand members. Can I send accused them a of taking of advantage? Whoa! What? No. What the fuck do you I just send say? them a picture? I have a Discord, right? Mm -hmm. With like eight thousand members. Can I send them a picture of me and you kissing? Yeah. To piss them off. Bro, what the fuck is he on? <laughs> so he meets this woman at the airport. She's clearly been at the bar drinking. And then right off the bat, he's asking her for a kiss. He's trying to make this an intimate That's situation. That's the wildest shit ever. She's obviously into it. And honestly, I just find the whole thing to be disgusting. Kissing random Facts. ratchet drunk women at the airport. Bro, he literally could have got a disease or some shit. Just doing what the Sounds fuck Sounds like a is very quick way to find yourself at the health clinic. They're going to cancel me for this. I don't care. Right He's now. fucking insane. <laughs> I swear to God, you can feel it under my pants. I swear to God. Whoa, what? Wait, wait, wait. Right I have a right now. <laughs> I swear to God, you can feel it under my What? He has a what? Okay, uh. <laughs> I'm on to him. My pants, I swear to God. It's a nasty dude. <laughs> Don't tempt you with a good time? Would you join the Mile High Club with me? Um, so what I got in sold, the I got fuck? Trade. You got sold in the trade? I actually care about this shit. What the fuck is it? What the? This has to be a script. <laughs> this has to be scripted. There's no way this shit is real. That's the wildest, bro. I don't even know what I would do. Matter of fact, bro, I I would never be in this type of situation. But that's just fucking wild. I'd be yeah. for like against trading and all that shit. It was what just happened? And I just want to pause it right here to say that it's been very well documented that Fousey has had a serious problem with s in the past. And back in the day when he was making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month living in some insane LA apartment, he would always talk about, oh, I have this addiction, I have this problem, but I can't tell you guys what it is. That is until Vitaly exposed him one day because the two were very close. Oh, I forgot close. about him too. And basically all I'll say about this is that this guy was not above paying for action. And at one no. time he was allegedly going out every single day and doing so. Whether what? that be him skimming through the yellow pages looking for it, going to a sketchy massage parlor. So to call himself an advocate no for these type way. of victims is just a little bit rich to me. Like you were not an advocate, dude. You were one of the main customers. He was trying to make Facts. me a lot a what? Yeah, a lot of lizard. A lot yeah. lizard. Bro, uh, what the? Uh, first of all, thank you for sharing. I appreciate <laughs> yeah. you being. Who would want to fuck a lizard? No, it's real. It My audience it might not understand, but I've been there. Mm -hmm. I used to be a s addict, so I used for years. Um, I used yeah, massage parlors for years, yeah. so I understand. Yeah. How long were you stuck under his spell? Oh shit. Um, seven months. Really? My fault, child. Let me tell you this car real quick. All right, my fault, chat. We back, we back. For years, um, I used massage parlors for years, so I understand. How long were you what stuck under his spell? <laughs> he just um, tell like random people this. Really, I'm sorry to hear that. Look, I just sent I you a little something. Thank you. I'm sitting there in court. And so I guess at this point, Fousey is trying to make himself look like a good person, showing his chat that he sent this woman three hundred dollars, and the whole thing just comes off this as was very all tasteless live? to me. Like, if you were really an advocate for these type of people, and you really wanted to help this woman, you would take her off your live stream and do this type of thing off camera, because there's no Facts. way she really understands the magnitude of how far this clip is going to get spread, and how embarrassing that could be for her, that so many people now know this information about her for $300. Hey, to everybody who's sitting here like, oh my god, you kissed her, da da da, this woman was involved in the guy <laughs> yeah, what who the fuck? He is chatting. What is he talking about, bro? Her and brainwashed her is a piece of fucking shit and deserves to die. So yes, I sent her three hundred dollars so she can start removing her tattoo and see her kids this weekend. I'm against that. A lot of the women Yo, that I used to get <laughs> jumps from were uh, what in the fuck? And I'm so ashamed in that. And just watch this right here, guys, because you're gonna see how ashamed Fusi truly is. He used women like this in the past. Okay, it was his deepest, darkest El secret, trip. and I'll just let him take the floor. I just joined the Mile High Club. And that's not the same. This can't be the same day. Is this the same day? I think this is the same fit. Look at him. 
Or you were just talking to somebody with some like crazy trauma, and then you that's what he came back with. No, it's crazy as fuck. It doesn't count as the mile high club because I was in the airport, but I still joined it. No, I swear to God, fucking way. I swear on everything I love. So he took this woman who obviously has, no. you know, if she's telling the truth, a very damaged relationship with, and joined the mile high club with her in the airport bathroom. I mean, at this point, this guy Fusi is just disgusting. I just joined the Maha Club in the airport, in the men's bathroom. <laughs> I swear to God. Walla. Bro, he's fucking weird. I had weird. to confess. I couldn't hold it for a second. I didn't go to buy her no snacks. I joined the Maha High Club. I'm no, sorry. You didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're I'm fucking sorry. weird. I should not share that. I'm sorry. I mean, this all sounds like a very good way to join the no-fly list. I'm sure he'll try and use his mental health as a cop-out in this situation. But honestly, he's just not a very good person. So he starts crying, he starts playing the sympathy card, like, do it out. There is something really wrong with him. He's crying now? And y'all just saw he was laughing and fucking hee-heeing and shit? And then he go to crying? Yo. No, there is what the fuck? <laughs> I had no idea he was on some like this type of timing. Do you feel me? Absolutely no one feels bad for you. You do this to yourself every single time. And so then he just started sending messages in his chat just saying, I'm sorry y'all, I fed up badly. I have a lot of skeletons in my closet. I'm not a good person. Like, oh, we all feel so bad for you, man. Yeah, he's like, actually to me, insane, he's really bro. nothing more than the boy who cried wolf. And then someone noticed that his mods were trying to cover up the airport incident. I guess he continued to stream. He then tweets out, I'm currently on a plane home. Yes, I spiraled. I'm going to call my therapist as soon as I land. Oh, what a noble person you are, Fusi. Thank you for keeping me in check. I need sleep. I need Yo. rest. I've lost the plot. I need to find it. Yeah, you need to stay off the internet, my guy. You obviously just... Yo, Loki, how long he been with that therapist? If he been with that same therapist for a minute, that's the L therapist, I'm not gonna lie. Cannot handle it, and once you get that little taste of power, you're right back into that grip of insanity, and you crash once again. He then apparently started doing things like this. <laughs> well, I'm in a car right now. I'm looking <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if there was a cornier person out there than Tube. I mean, what, does this guy <laughs> think his life is some sort of sick movie? Where he's the main character who can just never get his life right, he can never get out of his own way? This is also just a little bonus clip for you guys. That memory was deeply burned into your brain. That memory right there, since the first time I had, even after that, when I was wrestling with a family friend, and I came in my pants, that moment right there, Yo, Sam with the follow. Appreciate you, my boy. So, Joe, what you think about the Deep vs. Heard TV show on Netflix? I never even heard of that, to be honest. I don't really got no opinion on that, but appreciate you. Caused me years and Wait, years. Wait, what did you say? Since the first time I had, even after that, when I was wrestling with a family friend. Oh, he said, Dep. I thought that shit said Deep. Damn, that's, is that dyslexia? A Johnny Depp court case made into a show? That's actually crazy as fuck. Is it like a documentary type shit or do they like get actors and shit? If they got actors, that's kind of weird. Oh, let's get back to this react. Be right there since the first time I had, even after that, when I was oh, his own oh, brain. That memory right there since the first time I had, even after that, when I was wrestling with a family friend and I came in my pants, that moment right there whoa, 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 caused wrestling whoa, whoa, whoa. with a family friend and I came in my pants that wrestling with the family friend and he busted a nut loki just <sighs> locked this man up somewhere bro <laughs> he is he is devious he's bro he's a walking demon what is wrong with him bro he said the most crazy shit i ever heard in my life in like in less than 10 minutes what is wrong with him that moment right there caused me Years and years and years and years and years of failed relationship. I mean, you could not pay me any amount of money to get that confession out of me. That is some straight up <laughs> skippy activity right there. And then I also just wanted to show this. Apparently, he got a temporary suspension from Twitch after this all went down. I mean, the guy obviously knows how to garnish attention. But man, does he also know how to f*** it all up. Personally, I... Uzi did some fucked up shit on a stream, on a stream uh, a while back. This is what I'm finding out. I didn't even know he streamed. I literally thought he vanished off the face of the earth, bro. Like, now I'm seeing that he's on, like, this, the craziest shit ever. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm just like just not tapped in. I feel absolutely no sympathy for him. In fact, I feel much more sympathy towards that woman. Even if her story is not true, just to be put on display like that and to be used for the purposes of entertainment is just it's some weird. really nasty work. But y'all let me know what you guys think about this, uh, you know, 10th downfall of Fousey down below. As always, I do one thing. 10 downfalls, yo. How many times did he fall off? That's the wildest shit ever, bro. <laughs> Fousey is the weirdest man on the on the on this planet i'm not gonna lie yo shout out jamari bro that was a w video w info however long it take i'm gonna take my time it's gonna show really which heard a lot of shots before i got to take mine